Hi, I'm Danny, and welcome to my channel. For today's video, I have my February update to This Is Fantasy Project Pan. This is a Fantastic Ladies collab that was created by Allie. This project did start on October 11th of last year and goes to October 11th of this year because that is National Mythology Day. So Allie has chosen 21 mythological creatures and has created prompts for each of them. Um, this, you guys can set this up however you want. You can choose to work on like five prompts at a time. What I did is I rolled all 21 prompts in at the same time and then I'm just working on them as I can fit them in with everything else that I am currently panning. So I will show you everything that I've been working on over the past month. There are lots of products I haven't even started working on yet and I do have one empty for you for this update. So let me start with my first product. Actually, is it my first and my last? Let me look, because I have them all in order. It is. My first product and my last product are in this same palette. The first prompt is the Basilisk, a dark matte shadow, and I have a purple eyeshadow for that. And then the last one is Zombie, something falling apart, and I have this pink shimmer eyeshadow in here. So for the last update, I had used the matte purple 25 times, and I had used the pink shimmer 17 times. Over the past month, I've used them a few more times, and this is what it is looking like right now. So I have used the matte purple six more times, and as you can see, I believe, was it this side that I started working my way down? I don't remember, what, I remember I took the side down on one or the other, but I don't remember which side. So six uses for that, and then for the pink, I wanna say I used it three times. I did. So I used this three times, and I've started working my way over here and clearing out this corner and trying to bring it down. So like I've told you guys before, this is a very powdery product. Each of these pans are one gram, and my goal is to completely finish them. I'm making pretty significant progress. So as of right now, I have 31 total uses on the dark purple and 20 uses on the pink. So since they are my first and last prompt, uh, I have to keep switching pages in my notes to see how many uses I have on each, and I'm trying to give you some swatches so that you can see what the colors look like. This purple one is pretty patchy. I did have to go over it three times. It doesn't show up patchy when I apply it on my eyes, but it swatched pretty patchy. So the next one that I was working on is for Cyclops, a single shadow. So I rolled in my ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in the shade Bubbly. As of the last update, I had used it 16 times. And over this past month, I have used it three more, and this is what it is looking like. So I have some pretty significant progress going on. I have not hit pan yet, that is my goal. I just have so many eyeshadows that I'm working on that I haven't focused on these two pink shades. As you can tell, I do like to wear them together because they both have three uses on each. So this is a Super Shock Shadow and then these two are from, I don't even know if I said, this is the Ulta XO NYX palette. Um, so that one, that's the next prompt. After that, I have the Dragon, a large product. I rolled in my Jeffree Star Blood Sugar Palette. It is very bulky, as you guys know, and I depotted it. So I put in here for that prompt the shade Ouch. As of the last update, I had used it nine times. Over this past month, I have used it 18 more, and this is what it is looking like. So you can tell that the inside of the star is wearing away. I am nowhere near pan. Some of his eyeshadows, you can hit pan in 30 uses. Others, it takes about 70. This is gonna be one of those that's gonna take probably at least 70 uses to hit pan, and that is my goal. So I am wearing this today as one of the uh, brown mattes on my upper lid, not lid, <laughs> up here, um, underneath my brow bone. So I will keep working on this one until I hit pan. Next one was for the Prompt Elf, something that makes you feel beautiful, and I rolled in my Smashbox, the original Photo Finish Primer. I had used this one 18 times previously. I did use it 10 more times, and this is my empty. I did cut it open and get all of the product out of here. I really enjoy this primer. I love the way it makes my skin look underneath my foundations. So I got 28 uses on this, and this one is an empty. Next one is, I'm trying to find the prompts I can tell you guys. Next one is for Giant. 
something you loved before it was big. I had no idea what to put in for this. So I chose my Billion Dollar Brows uh, Clear Brow Gel. I had previously used this one 42 times. I have used it an additional 27. So I've gotten 69 uses on this and it is still growing. I do uh, blend it in with my brows. I wear it every time I do makeup. So I have no idea when this will end. I'm just taking weights and I'll let you guys know when it starts to dry up. But right now I'm still getting plenty of product out of this one. I would imagine it's gonna last me a couple more months. Next, I have the Prompt Hydra, something you pan and pan and pan and never finish. And of course that's a blush. So I have in here my MAC Blush in Blush Baby. As of the last update, I had used it 21 times. I did use it 17 more times and I will pop the picture up of what it looked like on the screen. As you could tell, I had a huge pan again, but it was crumbling and falling apart. So I've gotten 39 uses on it and I decided I was tired of all the pieces crumbling everywhere, so I have repressed it. So this is where we are starting from for this update. As you can see, I didn't even have enough to come all the way over here. Hopefully you guys can see how there is nothing coming up the sides of the pan. It is pretty shallow. We will see how long it takes me to hit pan again. I have rolled two blushes into two different project pans for a 10 use goal, uh, for a goal of 10 uses each. So that's gonna take up 20 days of wearing makeup. So I may not have pan for the next update, but I'm hoping the one after that I will re-hit pan and expand it pretty quickly. And I can actually see the end of this blush, which I'm really excited about. So let me give you a swatch of the blush. When I do my looks where I use my pink shimmery eyeshadows, there are occasions where I take this blush and I will use this as like a transition shade for these two shimmers right here. So I'm at 39 uses so far in this project and we'll see how many more until I completely finish it because that is my goal. Next is Kraken, something with lots of pigment and I rolled in my Danessa Myricks Vision Cream Cover. As you can see, it has a lot of pigment in here. As of the last update, I had used it 65 times. I have used it an additional 26 and it is still going. I'm at 91 uses. Every time I press the button to pump more product up, I keep expecting to see the little white base that comes on up that is uh, the base of the airless pump. It's still not there yet. I have a bubble right here. I keep waiting for that bubble to move or something, but I don't see any progress yet. I have no idea how long it's gonna take till I can see that as it starts to move up. And then usually when it gets about right here, that's when the product is empty. So 91 uses and still going. I love wearing this as a cream bronzer and I am wearing it today. Next is Leprechaun, something you'll have good luck with. You guys know how much I love my Hemp's uh, lotions. This is my hand lotion in the scent Pumpkin Spice and Vanilla Chai. As of the last update, I had used this one 44 times to get to here. I've only used it eight more and I can't really draw a new line. I've been working on another hand lotion in my Partners in Cream project pan, which hopefully you guys saw that yesterday. That one is now empty, so now I'm back to using this one. Next is the Unicorn, something new and untouched, and this was brand new in the box. And this is my Tarte Shape Tape Glow Wand. This had 32 uses as of the last update. I have used it 25 more. And as you guys can see, I have made a ton of progress in here. Even though you can see this line of demarcation right here, it is actually lower than that. It's just when I took my spatula in there to get some product out, I just didn't need to go down that far to get, because I got enough out from the sides of the tube. So I am at 57 uses and this one just has a few more uses uh, left. I will take this, I will put some on the back of my hand and mix it in with my NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop foundation because that is so matte and flat and this adds some shimmer, it helps the finish of my foundation look a lot better and I really love pairing the two products together. So 57 and this one should be an empty for the next update. Next was Werewolf Something Celestial themed. So I rolled in a pressed powder for my Tarte Park Avenue Princess Tarte Park Avenue Chisel Princess Palette in the shade Halo. As of the last update, 
I had used it 11 times. I should say this wasn't brand new when I rolled it in. I have used it 17 more. And as you guys can hopefully see, I was able to hit pan. So I met 28 uses on this one and my goal is to completely finish it. Now that we have pan in here, it's gonna be a lot easier to visually track my progress. So I'm really excited about that. I am wearing this today as well. So that is everything that I have been working on for the past month. Like I said, I really think this one will be empty. If I can wear a pink look or pink shimmer a couple more times, I really think that I can have pan in here. It doesn't take that long to hit pan in Super Shock Shadows. I'm just trying not to go straight for the center and dig a hole in there. So I might have this one, might have this goal hit uh, for the next update as well. Other than that, I'm just gonna keep working on these products, looking over this. I'm trying to see if I will have, yes, I will probably have a product or two that I will be rolling in over this next month to actually start working on. So hopefully I will have some new products to show you. If you are curious, everything that I put into this project, I do have everything linked to down below in my description box. I do try to pack that full of information so you can see what I'm working on, what I've chosen for each of the prompts and what my goal is. Be sure to go, speaking of the description box, I should say, be sure to go down and check out that list of everybody else who is participating in this project. And if you haven't, before you go, I hope that you will please subscribe to my channel and ring that bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for stopping by. Mm -hmm.